to the government has not declared today a holiday. Everybody, some of the like, papers are holiday. They've taken a French leave. Yes, you they, know they are not returning from wherever they went I think to. It's after only the daily the graphic. Yeah, uh, BNFT. Uh-huh. They the, maintain even their sizes. I no? think the what the BNFT and then the graphic business. I can't even find the Ghanaian Times. No, no, yeah. the rest are on Chronicle, Herald. Charlie, I have some other papers here. The <laughs> Energy Digest. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying. <laughs> Daily graphic says yes. pump optimism. Yes. Mark Easter. And you can see some photographs here uh, in the Daily Graphic from the Accra Sports Stadium. Mm-hmm. Also, Parliament approves 6.87 billion Ghana cities for National Health Insurance Authority. Import duty stall. Uh, heel Confanoche project. What are you saying? <laughs> now, import duties are stalling Heel Confanoche project. So the project's this name is, is Heel Confanoche. Now, import duties have stalled the project. Oh. Do you understand? Do you understand? I so they're importing import some materials. materials. Uh-huh. Don't, yeah. don't try to understand. There's cure yes. for cleft lips oh, for children. Mm-hmm. This is according to a surgeon. All right, let me give you the Energy Digest. Yes. URC justifies electricity tariff reduction. Also, government signs agreement for decommissioning Jubilee Field. Sent to oil refinery over 1,000 employees and touching life through CSR. Mm. And then a couple more stories. Claims of not meeting power supply obligations to Ghanaian market misleading. Okay. VRA. And then AGI says politicization of power outages is slowing industrialization. So lots of energy mm. focused mm. stories mm. on that the paper this morning. Okay, okay, I'll take you to the graphic. Business fiscal targets under threat. Suspension of electricity VAT creates 1.8 billion Ghana cities in GAP. And the government is considering alternative arrangements. So when they start telling you that there's a hole somewhere, it means what they're is. always thinking about how to fill it. Mm. And that means that Charlie and I would have to pay more for something. All right. Uh, take us to the BNFT before I take you to other places. Okay. The BNFT says BOG CRR directive to absorb 16.2 billion Ghana cities in liquidity. Also, we are told ZPay secures an additional 3 million US dollars from uh, Verdant Capital hybrid fund some other stories on the front page this morning for instance one says nearly half at entry level only 27 percent in management this is according to work uh, with the paper working women in banking mm. and then also wto reform is everyone's responsibility the overseer has a number of interesting stories i'll form the youngest cabinet ever in 2025 john mahama says this also, Baumia Storm School is start with health work. And then GMPC boss allegedly resigns. That's on the front page. And oh. then passport applications fee go up mm-hmm. to 544%. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, minority mm-hmm. is telling government to exempt all health facilities from unscheduled doom. So now take us online. Yeah. So many stories. It's funny how the papers miss this big story. Yeah, the, the child marriage. Yeah, one. it's amazing. Yeah. They say it's, it's everywhere. Yeah, they don't really seem cool. to have it. City Newsroom leads with that. It says yeah. uh, the police themselves uh, say the 12-year-old girl married to Bobu Wulomo yeah. under police protection. Yeah. Pediatric society condemns Bobu Wulomo's marriage to 12-year-old girl. Yeah. Meanwhile, Gangdangbe Council seeks to intervene. They're saying it's a betrothal, not a marriage. Not sure what the law says about the that. The law does not allow that. Whether it's, it's betrothal or marriage. express words, yes. the Children's Act prohibits mm-hmm. those kinds of things. Yeah, no. we'll, we'll come to it. Sky, we'll come to it. I'm just giving you the headlines now. So the Ghana Council is trying to separate the two, but we'll do that. Now, there's an interesting story from the IES on the power sector. Okay. ECG's PR gimmicks unwarranted and disgusting. disgusting. Oh. Seriously. Big, big English. You know, ECG now IES. sends like daily areas where power will go off. Yeah. It's, it's, it's some quasi, like, it's like quasi a quasi load <laughs> shedding. So they won't say the power, they'll just say the following areas <laughs> will be affected are localized for some things. <laughs> then you just mention your area. Then you're allowed to go off. <laughs> <laughs> so IES, which is one of the think tanks, says uh, these PR gimmicks are unwarranted and disgusting. They're yes. also asking uh, grid code to be transparent about available power to ECG. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, CocoBot says we've not yet approved our board's request for iPad keyboards. Mm. <laughs> CocoBot. And then... Uh, outrage, okay, of course, this is the main story. Mm. Um, Easter Orphan Project City Foundation donates 30,000 assorted items to Basco. Lovely, I take website. you to my joy. Child marriage, Chieftaincy Ministry probing 63 year old girl priest who married 12 year old girl. And it is ignorant. 63 year old girl priest fights, of course, for his arrest for marrying 12 year old girl. Mm. Attorney General directs police to seize vehicle seizures for minor traffic violations. 
passport application fees hiked expedited service now at 800 cd standard service 644 same payment achieved by marriage between 63 year old priest and minor and four arrested in connection with a trimmer nerebihi tensions if you go to star fm is a lead story the 12 year old girl married to bob Wulom under police mm. protection and then a couple more stories arrest bob Wulom immediately mm. according to edu watch and then we married 12 year old girl to one of other men the ah. Wulomo shrine speaks there's a video so that story is making all over the place meanwhile stop beating what drums your investment will do will, will go down first careful to brian a champong that story is on uh star fm's lead page and then if you go to class fm they are also leading with 2024 polls voter registration starts may 7 yeah. mm. and then uh, umb is resilient resolute with unwavering commitment to serve customers best interest okay. this is what the board is saying following the appointment of uh, security man no it's basically like um, <laughs> an administrator of some kind okay. dr joseph franz as an advisor to support the bank okay. these challenges meanwhile the police story on the 12 year old girl is also there mm -hmm. dan Parry praised by baumia for police professionalism and discipline mm -hmm. and then i have a, a very interesting one on gna mm -hmm. uh, the guy news agency dr baumia commissions police station for asakraka Sakraka. A Sakraka community. Mm -hmm. uh, my solutions are bold for the future. Dr. Baumia is quoted still on GNA. Very easy. And then he, GSA to test and certify imported and local furniture products. Okay. okay. So your blego will be tested by GNA. <laughs> uh, you mean my Akpasa? All of that. <laughs> Meanwhile, not more VRA to improve Ghana's preparedness response for future events. Meanwhile, Ghana Academy, uh, Ghana uh, anti corruption Coalition says organized mm. crime is a threat to Ghana's security. Okay. But, uh, let me um, take you to the BBC. Yeah. Uh, okay, starting with CNN. Foreign aid workers killed in Israeli strike, oh, Gaza yeah. officials say. And Ukraine's AI-enabled drones are trying to disrupt Russia's energy industry. So far, it's working. Hmm. Scientists, scientists find a breakthrough with nuclear fusion experiment. And um, also... Eight cruise passengers were left behind on an island. Now they are racing to catch the ship. Mm. Interesting story. Um, if you go to BBC now, food charity says eight workers killed in Gaza strike. Mm. Israel accused of killing Iranian generals in Syria. And Sky's man is here. Trump post $175 million bond yeah. in New York fraud mm. case. Yeah, big story. Uh, There's a very interesting on story on Bloomberg that I thought yeah. is a business opinion. Yeah. And the, the columnist is called Andreas Kluth. He says, we can't bear to think about Sudan and Haiti, so we mm. don't. And wow. it's basically bashing media and government in the West for paying less attention yeah. to sufferings yeah. there yeah. than in Ukraine or Gaza. So, yeah. And of course, because we, we read our West, Western websites, if you follow the news, yesterday I listened to BBC News, uh, they spent like 30 minutes discussing Israel, mm. right? And they spent a few minutes talking about Ukraine as well. Haiti has a major challenge. It's not really... Haiti yeah, that's right. Haiti. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just, and and, and Sudan has also been at, at yeah. war indeed. So yeah. I think the point is, we yeah. also need to now focus on what matters to us. Yeah. Yeah. Because the, the media everywhere focus on what matters to, what them. Matters to them. Another key story is um, mm. India's searing heat wave. Mm. Uh, is affecting their rates. Mm. Wow. And then UK house prices decline for the first time in three months. Ah. So right. at least if you want oh. to buy a house in the UK, <laughs> the prices are coming down. <laughs> All right, right. I think we should start with this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I have yeah. three versions on City News. Yeah, before yeah. you do that, though, let me just read a provision relevant for this purpose. It's a very short provision. Section 14 of the Children's Act mm -hmm. says, right to refuse uh, betrothal and marriage. One, no person shall force a child, A, to be betrothed, uh, B, to be a uh, subject of a dowry transaction, or C, to be married. And two says the minimum age of marriage of uh, whatever kind shall be 18 years. And section 15, which mm -hmm. uh, criminalizes the process, says that okay. penalty for um, contravention, any person who contravenes the provision of this subpart commits an offense yeah. and is liable on summary conviction mm -hmm. to a fine not exceeding 5 million Ghana cities mm -hmm. or to a term of imprisonment not so exceeding 1 million. I need to more. give you the story first yeah. before you even do this because the main story, yeah. Yeah, that's right. so some people have even heard it. No, okay, no, I'll just give you context. <laughs> no. So the story is that an influencer <laughs> traditional priest, age yeah. 63, has sparked outrage in Ghana. This is City mm -hmm. Newsroom, by the way, mm -hmm. by marrying a 12 year old girl. The priest Numo Bokete Lawe Churu, 
and this is the thirty third, which is triple X triple I. Yeah. Married her in a customer ceremony held on Saturday. In the face of criticism, community leaders have said people do not understand their customs and traditions. Now, then the story then gives a background you quoted. The legal minimum age to get married in Ghana is 18, and the prevalence of child marriage has declined, but continues to happen. And then give some background on global campaign on NGOs and all of this and all of that. Now, during a ceremony, a woman speaking in local Ghana told the girl to dress teasingly for her husband. Can you imagine that? Yeah. Now, they can also be heard advising her to be prepared for wifely duties and to use perfume that they gifted her to boost her sexual appeal to her husband. Oh, this the statement fuel outrage as they have been perceived to mean that the marriage would not be merely, merely ceremonial. ceremonial. Now, leaders of Nungwa indigenous community to which both girls and the priests belong have condemned the public's opposition to the marriage, saying that criticism comes from a point of ignorance. All right. Then, there have been different reactions to this. So, for example, uh, police have issued a statement yeah. in a concerning case that has a stare public outrage. Mm. Uh, the Ghana Police Service have in a brief statement, noted that prompt action has been taken to ensure the safety and protection of the young girl and her mother, who are currently under police protection. The Ghana police added that, quote, in collaboration with the Ministry of Gender, Children and Social Protection, mm -hmm. the Department of Social Welfare, they've initiated measures to provide the necessary support mm. and assistance to the girl during the challenging time. Then the Pediatric Society of Ghana, mm -hmm. PSG, has also condemned the marriage ceremony. Mm -hmm. In a statement dated April 1, the society's court said, quote, the Pediatric Society of Ghana has observed with great distress mm. the discourse on various media platforms on a report of a child marriage in Accra. Mm. The PSG strongly condemns any act of perception or facilitation of child marriage on the right to refuse betrothal and marriage. Then they quote the, ch the thing you just read, mm -hmm. Children's mm -hmm. Act 1998, which says, No person shall force a child aged less than 18 years to be betrothed to be the subject of a dowry transaction or to be married. Yeah. So all three mm. are stated there. Now, the, the, the Ghana Council's Council. angle is a bit puzzling yeah. because they have sought to comment on the matter and they are saying that we thought are not a marriage. Right? It, it, the council in a statement mm. signed and issued by its president, Aiko to the former attorney general, by the way, said it had engaged with Bobu Wulomo and some of the elders. Mm. And it quotes, it's important to clarify that the traditional ruler has stated that the relationship with the underage girl is a betrothal and not a marriage. The distinction to us has altered the legal implications. Quote, we are inclined to side with the Bobu Ulomo since the original reportage made the point that there was another ceremony that, that awaited the girl to purify and prepare for her procreation. Hey. Now, that's what they say. Well, Meanwhile, the law you read is very clear. Yeah. And in common English, everybody understands. Yeah. Neither marriage, betrothal, nor dowry yeah, for somebody right. below so, 18 is so allowed. You see, the, 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 the traditional councils and, and the regional you know, uh, houses of chiefs and then the national house of chiefs, mm -hmm. they are supposed to have legal minds who should advise them on some of these matters. Mm -hmm. uh, with the greatest respect, it does seem that perhaps they have not really looked at the law. Mm -hmm. The law is clear that what happened is unlawful, is mm. unconstitutional, mm. ought not have happened. And the people mm. responsible, and I have to speak clearly, they have to be arrested and prosecuted to the extent that they were a part of what allegedly happened. It mm. cannot mm. be right. This is not what we should be celebrated yeah. for. Inter so yeah, we we'll discuss this in the main show. Yeah. Let's do other stories. PRC is in the news. They yes. justified uh, tariff reduction. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, the IES is not happy with the new attempt by the ECG. Yes. To, I don't know if you have that story. That's on uh, City Newsroom. Yeah, they are so describing <laughs> their statements of the ECG PR as gimmicks. PR gimmicks. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, got that, I got that for you. Okay, Bernard. go on. Um, so... This is IES speaking story by Abigail Arthur. The Institute for Energy Security has expressed um, concerns over the Electricity Company of Ghana's alleged discrepancies in its public announcements regarding the recent power outages. Despite the inconsistent power supply, the government and the ECG have said that there is no load shedding, attributing the situation to a few technical issues, including the recent restoration of some 630 overloaded power transformers. A March 29 statement from the ECG maintained that there is no load shedding anywhere okay. and that any customer who is currently experiencing power outage is due to a localized fault. However, IES in a statement signed and released by its executive director Nana Moesi the 7th on April 1 expressed shock at ECG's misleading statements. Quote, in the recent statement, the ECG sought to equate stable national power hmm. supply to stable national grid, hmm. both of which are non-existent in our present power subsector. Hmm. 
IES is appalled by the extent to which the ECG is permitting the powers that be to frustrate its eligible business and to embarrass itself in the public eye. These PR gimmicks by the ECG are unwarranted, disgusting, mm. and diversionary, capable of denting the reputation and credibility yeah. of the institution. They are also calling on the grid code to communicate openly about the current state of the power mm. sector. Yes. They want grid code to provide ECG mm. with a clear estimate of the power supply that can be guaranteed within a specific period. Mm -hmm. So those are the past stories. Meanwhile, the PRC has uh, Just a had a, a small reduction in mm. tariffs. Mm. The story says that, uh, this is uh, the editorial, sorry, the Energy Digest, and it says, Dr. Esmelaka, the Executive Secretary of the PRC, has dismissed concern that the recent 6.5% tariff reduction for certain customer groups will worsen the energy sector debt. Mm. Now, that was something that we were reacting to. Uh, AGI, meanwhile, says, politicization of power outage, slowing industrialization, mm. same paper, the Association of Ghana Industries has decried the politicization of power outages in the country and called for a swift national risk consensus to solve the challenges inherent in the energy sector. The association said the politicization of the power sector or power cuts to industry and households was a setback to Ghana's quest to industrialize, describing electricity as the engine that fueled industrial growth mm -hmm. that ought not be politicized. Okay, so let's country. move from uh, energy uh, quickly into health. Parliament approved 6.87 billion Ghana cities for National Health Insurance Authority. Doreen mm -hmm. Andor reporting says Parliament has approved 6.87 billion Ghana cities to enable the National Health Insurance Authority mm -hmm. to pay health insurance claims and undertake its activities earmarked for the year. Now, the House also approved the 2024 distribution formula for disbursing the funds uh, which for the first time includes emergency support for needy dialysis patients. Mm. So this is good news. Yes. And then also we are told that import duties stall heal Confanoche mm. project. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now Kojo Bafo Donko writing from Kumasi says the heal Confanoche project aimed at uh, renovating the 70 year old Confanoche teaching hospital in Kumasi has suffered a setback following the inability of the project to clear some of the items needed from the ports. Mm -hmm. Now the consignment of imported tiles the men for the project has been locked up at the Temahabo accruing demerage. Mm -hmm. Now, the project is to pay uh, more than 1.7 million Ghana CDs in duties to clear 10 containers of tiles meant for the project. Now, the Hill uh, Confanoche project was launched by the Asante Hene in collaboration with CAS to raise 10 million US dollars to renovate Salute. blocks A, mm. B, C, and D of the Still with the health sector. This is City News from over yeah. 6,000 nurses. nurses have left Ghana since August last year. Hey. So it's not even been six months. And I met six some months, over the weekend at our leaving. party. So and they said it to their August going. 2023 uh -huh. to March 2024 is six months. Yeah. Yeah. And over six, so it's like six thousand a month. Perpetual for real and president of GRNMA, has said that approximately 6,000 nurses have wow. left Ghana to seek better opportunities since August last year. Right? Now, in an interview on TV3 Hot Issue on March 31, Mrs. Oforian Pofu said, quote, We've been collating the numbers from August last year till date. Mm. About 6,000 nurses have left Ghana in search of greener pastures. Mm. This is crazy. She emphasized the necessity of improved service conditions for healthcare professionals to ensure they perform their duties as expected regardless of their location. Mm. She also highlighted the need for enhancements in the health sector to curb the brain drain, stating that it requires more than just a provision of drones. Mm. 6,000. 6,000. 6, 6, so, so it means August 1,000, oh. September 1,000. And they are more going. More yeah. going if you go to yeah. that Belling Bay place, the Canada ones Blend. are also lining up there. Yeah. Qu quickly, quickly. And the passport issue too. Yes, the, the cost is going up. Uh, the graphic business has a story I want to draw your attention yeah, to quickly sure. because it might mean that you, may, you pay more for something. Mm. Now, fiscal targets under threat, suspension of electricity, oh VAT, God. creates 1.8 billion Ghana cities gap and government considers alternative arrangements. Emmanuel Bruce says the government's 2024 tax uh, revenue target for... The year, which is uh, 143.1 billion Ghana CDs, is under threat as it seeks to find alternative ways to make up for the potential 1.8 billion Ghana CDs in shortfall mm. created due to the suspension of the 15% VAT on residential electricity consumers. Now, this shortfall, if not plucked immediately, mm. also has the potential of affecting the country's end of year fiscal deficit target of 5.9% if expenditures are not realigned to match up with the expected revenues. Of course, the Minister of State designate um, 
Honorable Abna Osea Sari has, has consistently told us that they intend to ensure that mm. expenditures don't go beyond. Let me just stop up quickly. Fees. Starting today, Sky, mm -hmm. the Foreign Affairs Ministry has adjusted the fees for passport applications, oh, raising them from 100 Ghana cities to 500 Ghana cities hey! for the 32 page booklet and to 644 Ghana cities for the 48 page booklet hey! under the standard service. For those who want expedite service, they will pay 700 Ghana cities for a 32 page booklet and 800 Ghana cities for a 48 page booklet. This is the word of the foreign well, the, uh, the minister for, or uh, the, uh, the guy on the Foreign Affairs Committee, Ablakwa, has criticized the suddenness of yeah. the income. Yeah, I mean, that's but from 100 to... So, yeah, yeah, I mean, that's... Really? Meanwhile, East Alpha Project, CTFM but, Foundation donates no, 30 to an assorted... Do, do they come project. under the... You know, Skyway. normally these fees and services, Parliament... Parliament I, must have I, I don't know. Uh, maybe I have mm. to look We can it. check it out. Now, uh, in fact, the, to, to be fair, the ranking member said he was going to um, invite the foreign minister to appear before the House. And answer okay. some questions. Now, as part of our Easter celebration, yes. City Foundation yesterday presented some items and money yeah, yes. man. to a number of orphanages, including the Baptist School of yes. Solid Suhum mm -hmm. and one other orphanage in Tamale mm -hmm. and a third orphanage uh, in another part of the country. Mm -hmm. And this is the 18th straight year yes. we've wow. been doing yes. Yes. Wow. this. Uh, yes. Uh, support. Relevant radio. Oh, Relevant radio. Oh, Radio Papa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a newspaper review with Bernardino Koku, Abla, Richard Alaska.